I'm gonna go over a few tools that I use when writing my code. Uh, the first one would be IntelliJ, which is the integrated development environment that I use for writing my backend code. So this would be my Java code. Uh, it's very modern and it has a lot of good features uh, that will speed up your development, such as autocomplete. And whenever you're utilizing Git, you get this nice little view of like your different commits that are there. So it's pretty nice for version control. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go to jetbrains.com slash idea. Jetbrains are the brains behind uh, IntelliJ. So once you go to uh, jetbrains.com slash idea, just go to the download link. And this will provide you with two different versions that you can download. You can download the ultimate, which is the paid one, or the community. Now the ultimate one does have a 30 day trial if you want to try that out, just see how it works for you. Uh, but to begin, if you're just starting off your development career, I'll say just go with the community edition. That should suffice. Um, now note, if uh, depending on which platform you are, if you're on Mac, you will need to uh, click on Mac. If you're on Linux, you need to click on Linux and download the appropriate installer. The next tool that we'll be looking at, it's uh, what I use for my UI code development, and that's Visual Studio Code. Um, it's quite handy. Uh, it's the best editor out there. Uh, if anyone knows of a better editor that I don't know of, please let me know. Uh, though that is a subjective uh, comment uh, you know we can see but for me I would say Visual Studio Code is the best editor out there right now uh, so go ahead if you have uh, Windows just download it here I think depending on whatever platform you are you should have access to a different download but download that install it and from there you should be able to use that uh, to write your code and again, I use this for writing my front end code due to the additional plugins that I can install and there's like a lot of them out there. Um, so now let's look at how IntelliJ looks like. If you don't like the tips, uh, you can just uncheck the show tips on startup. So this is it's an example, some code I had written. Um, so this is kind of like how it would look like. So something like I was telling you about is how it has um, the auto completion added. So let's, for example, let's try something. So once I do that, see I have access to like all this I already know. You know, for example, just doing auto wired. You type a few letters, you're already getting suggestions. If I have a lot of code to write, that comes that can speed up uh, the efficiency. Next, we'll look at uh, Visual Studio Code. So, this is Visual Studio Code. Um, the first thing that I would do after you launch Visual Studio Code is install uh, one extension that I like to use. Um, so, click here, this button right here. Uh, that's the extension, and then search for IntelliJ, and that should give you. Uh, IntelliJ IDEA key bindings should pop up as the first uh, thing here. Uh, so the reason I like to use the IntelliJ key bindings on Visual Studio Code is it makes my life easier when I have to switch back and forth between IntelliJ and Visual Studio Code because I'm able to use the same shortcuts on both uh, both platforms. And then there's other things that you can st install in here like the themes. Uh, one of my favorite themes is Monokai. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Monokai theme. This is a really, really nice theme. Um, there's a free edition and there's a paid uh, one. I think the paid one is like $10. I went ahead and bought it for myself because I do use it quite a bit. But to start off, you can start off with the uh, free edition. And yeah, and that should do it. You have the tools you need to...